Sammo Hung choreographed the fights in Ip Man. The actor and director grew up in Hong Kong's film industry, and he's still active today at the age of 65. How did it feel making Kung Fu popular all around the world? I never think my movie, I want to go to the whole world. No, I just want to make a good movie for the audience. Whatever I'm shooting, fighting, everything, I want to be the audience just like me, be excited, you know, they like it. And you have wowed audiences because of your amazing movements and timing and drama and comedy. Actually, I like it, you know, action and uh, comedy. We are generation, we make it the movie people with a light, looks like a very new. My movie is always comedy and kung fu and very funny and very happy. This is a, actually is a very hard. You want to be happy, smile, you want to be nervous, you want to be excited. So I, I, I like to be action movie, but now I, I, I love to lovely story. You know, never need to fight, just hold it, the girl. So when you look at the golden age, 70s and 80s, and now, what do you think? Come on, totally is different. Totally different. Totally different. Just like Hong Kong, before a lot of people want to be action star, want to be hero. But now, no. Of course, I hope a lot of some new young men they comes up for the action star. Now, a new generation is learning how to pull off the action-packed and emotional fight scenes that Hong Kong Kung Fu films made famous. Welcome to Stunt School. Worldwide, everybody knows the Hong Kong action is among the best. It's like a dream working with all these action directors and uh, professional stuntmen. American Tom Caserto is one of about a dozen students in the advanced course taught by the Hong Kong Stuntman Association. They're a mix of foreigners and locals, men and women. It's really hard moves, it's dangerous. But class is about more than perfecting moves, it's about making movies. Every lesson is meticulously filmed so students can critique their performances. Besides doing the body moves, our faces must also show proper emotions. If not, your body is acting, but your face isn't. Then it'll come off as poor quality and unprofessional to audiences. The acting is something that Anson Kwan enjoys. A finance worker by trade, he says he trains four days a week for at least three hours each. I don't like to work in an office. I like doing uh, exercise. You can really get into it. And for example, a uh, very heavy punch. Then you, can, you can you can do this and rage. The fact is, our industry, the stuntman industry, needs new blood. If there's no new blood, then we have no one to pass the art to. It's important because this was founded in Hong Kong. We hope to carry on this legacy, to let Hong Kong's action movies and the stunt industry to carry on. The same spirit, but a very different setting here at City University. An ongoing project captures Kung Fu masters in 3D what? to preserve their finely honed skills. What? The intention is to actually publish this work online uh, to make it very accessible and uh, very much a tool, a universal tool for, for students who are interested in, in these uh, martial arts traditions. Professor Jeffrey Shaw says his team has recorded 50 masters to date, demonstrating over 120 styles of Kung Fu. The process takes time and patience. 99 silver markers are placed all over the master's suit, and then the magic begins. Infrared cameras around the room pick up every step, punch, and kick. Even his breath can be detected, and all of it can be analyzed when the team connects the dots. Traditionally, 
martial arts was documented with drawings, but uh, motion capture has a, a very significant uh, advantage. This, the way in which new media can basically become an interpreter and also a, a stimulus for intangible cultural heritage. The idea for this martial arts living archive came from the International Guoshu Association. The organization has helped display the project's data in interactive exhibits. The next one will focus on the legacy of Kung Fu in Hong Kong cinema, perhaps providing inspiration for the city's next superstar.